With the discovery of radium in the early part of this century, it was thought that it had great curative powers. Many spas were set up, like at Battle Creek, Michigan, where Dr. Kellogg had a radium room where people were treated with radioactive salts and blankets. Other spas were set up at Saratoga Springs, where they had radium mud baths, radium regular baths in California and Arkansas. Radium was thought to have great beneficial effects. So some clever entrepreneurs thought that if it's possible to sell something that you could use in your home, maybe they could capture some of the profit that was made from people who were spending it in radium spas. And they advertised, why spend money for an expensive train trip to some health spa when you can buy one of our water jugs and it will make your water just as radioactive as you'll find at Saratoga Springs. One of the more popular so-called radium spas for the home was this Revigator, made in 1912. Hundreds of thousands of these were sold, and it was made in a variety of shapes and sizes. It has radium ore on the inside of this crock. Now, we'll put this Geiger counter sensor down inside. You'll hear quite a loud response determining how much radium is in this crock. They tried to sell their customers on the idea that more illness was caused by improper water than any other reason, and largely because the radioactivity was lost in the water that we were drinking. Find the health you're looking for with the Grand Revigator. The power of radium will help you to become quite vigorous. Your waters will tell it's the truth, so you need this fountain of youth. Prime it up every day, drink your disease away, and be robust. robust. The shadow of a doubt upon the water that you drink, removed by the revigator, it puts you back in the pink radioactivity. Makes you feel oh so healthy, you'll never grow old. Yes, and you'll feel bold, and you'll thank us for the wonderful Revigator. This display here is featuring something called Rator Plaque. There's a little silver disc inside that holder there that was very radioactive. When you put the Geiger counter to it, it jumps off the scale, as you can hear as we put this up here. It's a very dangerous product to be sold on the open market and would injure people if they put that little disc in their pocket and carried it around for about a week. The way it worked, you put this little vial of distilled water on top of that metal disc, and supposedly that got the water radioactive, which you could drink with the intended idea that it cured various ailments that you might have. A more common thing was this bag of radium ore here. This is called a Cosmos bag. Oddly enough, the fellow's name was Cosmos. Radium ore that is radioactive that an arthritis patient would put over their arm like this and supposedly they would get a treatment that would make their arthritis go away. Another product that was quite popular people took advantage of was the fact that you could make radioactive garments to make you healthy. A company in Denver, Colorado produced a radioactive athletic supporter for weak, sagging men. They also produced radioactive suppositories for men and women and they produced something called a bouget, a radioactive rod of wax that was inserted in the urethra to overcome the damage done from self-abuse. Now, another promotion of radium as a curative factor was done by a man named Bailey, who claimed to be a physician, but he wasn't. He thought that if you focused alpha radium rays on the endocrine glands of mentally ill people, they'd become sane. And he made a machine he thought did that. And so this is the f basis of a feature story in the Philadelphia Ledger, 1924, showing all the people going from the mental hospital to the dispensary to be cured. 
One of Bailey's most popular items, and again, he was not a physician, was this Radithor, little bottles of radium water that supposedly improved your sexual prowess. He sold 400,000 of these. They sold a dollar a piece. A man in Pittsburgh named A.M. Byers drank 1,400 bottles of this to improve his sexual prowess, and it had a terrible effect because his upper and lower jaw fell off. When this occurred, they realized that the indiscriminate use of radium in various medical products and schemes was a harmful thing, and much of it was taken off the market.